Good morning, everyone. This is Gail Dudley with your News in Motion. Today's segment is going to be a little different. So as you come on, if you would start a watch party and make sure you're putting comments in the comment section because I'm going to give you a lot of detail, a lot of information. So before I even get started, go ahead and invite your followers, your friends to this special segment of News in Motion. So again, good morning, Brenda. As you are coming on, this is a special edition, a special segment of News in Motion. So what I would love for you to do as you are coming on is to um, either share this link to your followers or friends or start a watch party. I'm going to be giving you a lot of information. So welcome to this special edition, this special segment of News in Motion. We have a lot to cover today, but I'm going to try to still get it within that 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm just slowing down just a little bit this morning, waiting for people to come in so that we can um, have this conversation. So um, you can hit the share button and share it to your friends and followers. Um, and then if you do not have pen and paper in front of you, you may wanna get that because I'm going to be giving you a lot of information, information we need, information we need. So just slowing down a moment. Um, I don't know where you all are, but I am in Ohio and today it is sunny. It looks absolutely beautiful outside. So on this early morning, so as you're coming in, just hit the share button to share this, do a start a watch party, um, get your pen and paper so that we can have this conversation. I'm going to give you a lot of links today, um, and if you have time, check them out. I think they're very important. They're all relevant. We need this information. We need this information. In a couple minutes, I will get started. Just trying to get as many tuned in. I know we get people that um, come on later, but I'm trying to get as many as possible to come in. Um, I know that the replay button is available, so feel free to hit the replay button if you miss any information. But let's just, um, I'm slowing down today on purpose. Slowing down today on purpose. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a special edition, a special segment of News in Motion. So if you see that share button, go ahead and share that with your friends and followers. Also have paper and pen on hand. I'm going to give a lot of links this morning, a lot of information that will arm us with what we need moving forward when it comes to this election that is coming up on um, November the 3rd. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You're probably saying, why isn't she talking already? Because I'm trying to get as many people on this segment because I have a lot of information to share with you. Um, I know some people watch the replay, but I wanted to get you as, um, inf as much information as possible um, this morning. Some very important information. I'll give everyone about another 60 seconds so you can share this link. 
start a watch party, whatever that looks like for you. And we're going to get started. If you don't already have your pen and paper, go ahead and give it a grab so you can take notes or you can hit the replay as well. Good morning, Pastor Alex Williams. All right, y'all, again, get your pen and paper. This is a special edition of News in Motion, a special segment. Um, I'm going to be given a lot of information, but I will try to still pack it in in that, in that small time that we have. All right, so let me get started. Today marks 90 days, y'all. We have 90 days to go to the November 30 election. So 90 days, that's important, 90 days. The first thing I want to bring up, um, what was popping off the other day, good morning, Jeffrey James, what was popping off the other day was the census. Um, and it's a different, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so of course it's going to be different. So please get your pen and paper. I'm, I'm begging you to take down this information. It has been noted that the um, census, um, the, 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 the team will stop counting at the end of this month. Even though they asked for an extension back in April to extend it longer because we're in the middle of a pandemic. So they are um, set to stop counting the end of this month. But hear me when I share with you that everyone will not be counted by that time. So who are the individuals that are currently missing, that are currently not a part of the count? Poor and poor people. Poor people, so far, they're having a difficulty trying to count um, people who are, are below the poverty line. Um, those who are in homeless shelters. And I want you to write this down because I'm going to ask all of us to do something after this. Minorities, the marginalized, those who move a lot, and those who are hard to find people. So you have six categories, the poor, those who are in homeless shelters, the minorities, the marginalized, those who move a lot, and those who are hard to find people. Those individual people have not been counted. They have not been counted. Now, one of the reasons many libraries across the United States had planned to open so that people could come into their lobby, go in to, what's up, Annette Hutton, go into um, the study rooms or classrooms and complete the census online. Well, once the libraries closed down, once the schools closed down, once most of the country was in a stay at, under a stay-at-home order, People did not have access to use the computers, to have Wi-Fi, to complete the census. People who move around, poor people, marginalized, they did not have access to the computers. They're not available to complete the paper ballot. They don't have stamps, or I guess they, you didn't need a stamp, I don't believe. Um, you didn't, they didn't have access. So these individual people have not been counted. Why is this important? Because we're talking about political representation and federal funding. So if you're not counted, it's going to change the political landscape and it's going to change federal funding, federal funding for programs, federal funding. It's going to change all of that. If they're saying, well, we don't have that many people, why do we need to allocate this money? It is going to change drastically. And with the current occupant in the Oval, when he receives that, da that data, which will be handed to him, the chairman is saying by the end of the year, he still has 20 plus days to make some decisions before he exits the office. And yeah, I'm, I'm speaking like that he is exiting the office. So y'all, we need to pray that there is some available access so that in the next, today is August the 5th, we go to August 31, in the next, let's say 20 days, we locate people and ask them like that. We need to switch that and ask the question, have they completed the census? And if not, help them complete the census. It's that 
important. And I see that my internet wants to act a, act a fool today, but we're going to get this information out. So, y'all, we have con congressional seats on the line when it comes to the census. All right? That, that's determined who gets more or who gets less, even when we're talking about federal funding. So, this is for the entire next decade. So we're talking about an entire decade that's on the line because they have been ordered by the administration to wrap it up, to stop counting by the end of this month. But yet we have six categories that have not been counted. The poor, those who are in homeless shelters, minorities, the marginalized, those who move a lot, and those who are hard to find people. Yeah, this is a special segment of news in motion special segment now there are 300 million people to be counted 300 million people the response rate is already low even within those who are not in those six categories okay so far this is the lowest count in history the lowest count in history of of counting the people of, of census um the data will be handed, as I said, again, to the current occupant. Now, here's what's important. You can still complete the census. You can still do it. Do it today. You can do it today. It's quick. It's easy. Um, it's not too late. It's safe. It's secure. It's needed. You need to be counted. Everyone needs to be counted. Okay, your response matters. It, it does. So, you can go to 2020-2020-census.gov, 2020census.gov. That's where you can go, 2020census.gov. What's up, Deborah Johnson? What's up, girlfriend? That's where you can go, okay? Now, what they're trying to do is to undercount. Again, this is a special segment of News in Motion. What they're trying to do is undercount. And y'all know, I don't have to say it, but I will on purpose. Again, what's tied to the 2020 census, what's tied to it is federal funding and the congressional seats. If we're not counted, they can slash funding, they can slash seats over the next decade. Y'all, this is serious. With churches not being um, um, gathered, uh, people gathering in churches um, during this pandemic, you know, normally churches are the place where you're talking about it, you're getting this information out. Well, we don't have that necessarily. But yet and still, I'm calling all pastors as you are giving your live stream this coming week, Bible study, Sunday, whatever, talk about people completing the census. Y'all, it is necessary. If you're just joining, hit the replay. This is important. This is a special segment of News in Motion. So pastors, I'm calling on you. When you are doing your live stream, talk about the 2020 census. Let them know what's on the line. Some people don't understand. This is tied to federal funding. That means what they may slash. Um, yes, there's times they look at it to see what they can give more to. But this administration is looking at what they can slash and also con congressional seats. This is what's important. So pastors, anyone who's running a nonprofit organization, who's doing anything with social services, I am asking you, I'm calling you to action to make sure you're figuring out what else you can do to get this information to your base. CEOs, same thing. Business owners, same thing. Entrepreneurs, same thing. Teachers, same thing. Those who are going back into the classroom sent a note home with the students saying, hey, have you completed your census? Y'all, we have until the end of the month to get this in. They are stopping the count early. After they had asked for more time because of the pandemic, they are now stopping the count early for the census. So it's not too late. Everyone who has access to a computer or Wi-Fi, if you have not completed yours, go to 2020census.gov. Again, that's 2020census.gov. Y'all, this is why we vote, so we don't have these things. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is mail-in um, um, ballots. Now, will they, won't they is what I'm calling this piece, vote by mail. Well, the occupant of the Oval, after all of this stuff of saying no mail-in no mail voting, 
and then even threatening a lawsuit against Nevada, he's now encouraging, get this, Florida votes, voters to vote by mail. Only Florida voters to, to vote by mail. And he calls this system safe and secure. This is his dir direct tweet. I'll read it. Whether you call it vote by mail or absentee voting, in Florida, the election system is safe and secure, tried and true. Florida's voting system has been cleaned up. We defeated Democrats' attempt at change. So in Florida, I encourage y'all to request a mail, a, a ballot and vote by mail. Yeah, that happened. That happened. So now there's people saying, well, does that mean for everybody or what? Pay attention to what is happening in your state. Find out from your Secretary of State's website what is going on, what are the dates, things are changing. I've been talking about the U.S. Postal Service, how they've been ordered to slow mail, just all kinds of things. Y'all, this is August. November the 3rd is right around the corner. All right, so we need to have an understanding. If you can, if you, um, this is what I, I encourage people to do because we don't know what's happening in this pandemic. Go ahead and do your application for absentee ballots. Go ahead and do your application, even if you take it in and hand it in on, poll, on, on voting day. Go ahead now and request your application for absentee ballots. Do it now. You can do that from your Secretary of State's office. With that being said, y'all, again, this is a special segment. Forgive me if it's going longer. Hopefully you have your pen and paper. Again, share this, start a watch party, replay it, share when we get off because I'm giving you information that we need. The first is the census. The next is your absentee ballot. I'm asking for the application for that. Number three, poll workers are needed. Now, I, I wrote this segment um, before a conversation I had late yesterday, um, but poll workers are needed. Um, the um, AP, that's the Associated Press, reports that more than 900 workers, this is in Wisconsin, more than 900 workers are needed for Wisconsin polls for their primary on August the 11th. If you know anybody in the state of Wisconsin, please let them know that they are looking for poll workers. I believe the day salary or, or, or stipend is like $130. Don't quote me on that. They can check that out on Wisconsin site. Um, and I believe they're also giving, um, paying for, or giving a stipend for, stipend for travel as well, meaning you have to live there, but it, your mileage for your car. But AP reports that more than 900 workers are needed for Wisconsin polls for August the 11th, which is their statewide primary. Um, and this came directly from the Wisconsin Election Commission. So they're needing 900 poll workers. This is as of yesterday. Now understand, if they don't have 900 poll workers, if they do not have the poll workers that they need, they will close that polling place. And more often than not, the polling places that are being closed are those who are in low income areas, those who may not have transportation, those who may not be able to make it to across town to vote. Now, I believe from the information I found, it is too late to request an absentee ballot in Wisconsin, but understand they need 900 poll workers. Now, y'all know I'm a believer. Y'all know I do this by faith. So I'm going to ask everybody to pray that they locate 900 poll workers so that all of their polling locations will be open and operating on uh, Tuesday, August the 11th. If you know anybody in the state of Wisconsin and you know they're looking for even a one day um, a civic engagement opportunity, let them know about um, that, um, they're, that Wisconsin is looking for poll workers. So that's happening. Um, again, just share this, ask questions. Now, with that being said, sign up to become a poll worker in your state. Sign, sign up. Uh, is there a website or phone number? Yes, 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 yes. Um, the the thank you, thank you, Kenya. The website to become a poll worker is e a c e as an election a as an apple c as in commission. I know I'm just making up words here. Dot gov. So e a c dot gov e a c dot gov. 
Now, if they're in Wisconsin, they can just go to their Wisconsin Secretary of State website and sign up there. They are begging people, begging people. So do you want to become a poll worker in your state? Because the same thing can happen here as well, everywhere. Thank you, Kenya, for posting that. Everywhere, the same thing can happen here as well, wherever you are, every state. So come November, they're like, we don't have enough poll workers, we're shutting this down. Especially in a pandemic. Think about when you go vote, when you actually go into the polling location to vote, you normally see older people. Well, in the midst of this pandemic, they're not coming out. So we, they also are looking for millennials and younger people, college students, um, stay-at-home moms, um, whomever to come in and work. Some, some states pay for training. When I was doing the research, it's like $50 for training. Again, the average stipend is around $130. Again, don't quote me on that. Look at your Secretary of State's office. But poll workers are needed right now for the primary in Wisconsin. They need 900 they need 900 or they will begin to close down the polling locations, which means those in the areas where people may not have transportation to get to where they're going. And so today I'm calling on every uh, uh, car company, um, anyone who sells cars to make yourself available to get people to these polling locations if polling locations shut, locations shut down in Wisconsin. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, free. Get people to the polling location. Yes, the primaries are just as important as the general election. And also, Kenya, while you're on here, write down the 2020census.gov as well because they're, they're going to stop counting early. They're going to stop counting at the end of this month. And there are six groups, six groups that have not been counted. That's the poor. Those are those, That's those in the homeless shelters, minorities, the marginalized, those who move a lot. And those who are hard to find people. And if we're not counted, that means they're slashing federal funding and they're slashing congressional seats. Y'all, there's more to it. There's more to it. Thank you, Kenya. Um, there's more to it. So again, I'm sorry I'm taking long, but I wanted to get you these this information. Um, so sign up to become a poll worker wherever you are. If you have that day available, sign up or take the day off and do it anyway because they're going to be looking for them. That's why I think if I, I shared with you uh, maybe a month ago that the uh, Atlanta Hawks, they're using the whole State Farm Arena. They're starting early voting. I believe it's um, October the 6th um, in, in Georgia and they're just, they're not charging for parking and they're actually challenging other NBA um, uh, teams in, in the arenas to do the same thing. To, and they're, they're actually training their, um, the workers of the State Farm Arena on how to become poll workers. So that's, made, that's, that's amazing. I think more NBA teams should step up and do that as well. All right, y'all, the coronavirus numbers, the World Health um, or, um, um, Organizations, where I get the numbers, y'all, we're, we're knocking on 5 million cases in the United States. Right now, we're at 4,918,420 cases. Deaths, we're at 160,290 deaths. Recovered, that's a celebration, 2,481,680 recovered. Now, Tennessee had a 139% rise in coronavirus cases, 139% rise. Now, I told y'all last week about the nursing homes, uh, that there's a number of 59,000 people that have, um, uh, have contract, contracted coronavirus or how, however you do that, been infected with it. Um, now, although the U.S. does not have the capacity to do this sort of testing, uh, CMS, that's the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services, will begin requiring that all nursing homes um, staff in states with a 5% uh, positivity rate or greater will be tested each week. Now, there's not even that, that many tests available. So, y'all, we're now running into a shortage. There's, a, there's, there's another issue um, U.S. is averaging more than a thousand deaths a day now for more than a week. A thousand deaths a day. Um, and it's more widespread than ever. So before I even go to the win, and thank y'all for indulging me longer this morning, but even before I share the win, y'all, we need to pray. 
We need to pray that these people are counted. We need to pray that there are poll workers. We need to pray that people have access to mail-in uh, ballots. We need to pray that the, the U.S. Postal Office do not begin closing locations. We need to pray that the tricks are exposed and we stay ahead of the game. We need to pray. The prayers of the righteous availeth much, y'all. We need to pray. We need to pray. We absolutely need to pray. So that's a lot. If you're just joining, uh, hit the replay button, have pen and paper, share this. If you know anybody in Wisconsin, definitely share it. We do not need those polling locations closed. Now, what we don't understand, and I keep, I keep trying to share this with all of you, is that you may say, well, I don't live in Wisconsin. That doesn't have anything to do with me. It has everything to do with you. Because if, they, if people can't vote in Wisconsin in different areas, and then we lose seats of those who are making a difference in our lives, who are lined up with our morals and our values, whatever yours are, I can only speak for myself. If you lose that seat, that means when it gets to the House or when it gets to the Senate, you, it's not going to vote your way. So it has everything to do with us, everything. Look what happened in Missouri on yesterday. Uh, Cori Bush um, replaced um, William Clay, Representative William Clay of the House, who had been in office since 2001. 2001. We have to start looking at things like this and see what's happening and what are the dynamics. We have some serious races that are coming up, so we must vote. Again, y'all, October the 5th. October the 5th is the last day to register to vote, to be able to vote in the November 3rd election. But even with me giving you that date, check your individual Secretary of State's website to see the date, to see if any dates have changed what is happening, especially since we're in this midst of this pandemic that doesn't seem to be lifting, but I'm even praying for that to just, just come to a pause, just, just be over with. So we have that. You can go to IWillVote.com. You can go to Vote.gov. You can go to Vote.org. Uh, RockTheVote.org. Um, when we all vote.org. You can also go to readypublication.com and click the ready to vote campaign icon to register to vote and to check your voting registration. That's so important. So important. So for the win, for the win, we have Denise Woodard of Partake Foods. After being rejected by 86 investors, she stayed the course to receive a deal from Jay-Z's Mercy Venture Partners. Um, and her product is an allergen-free cookies. Well, all, allerg her product is allergen-free cookies. And they will soon be in Target. This is a Black-owned business. So I want to celebrate Denise Woodard for the win for staying the course and not giving up. With that said, the inspirational message for today is to pause, reflect, and breathe. I'll say it again. Pause, reflect, and breathe. Pause long enough to see what's going on around you, to see if you're doing everything that you can be doing, or even if you're doing too much, just pause. Next, reflect. Reflect on where we've come from. Reflect on the gifting that God has given to you. Reflect on how God continues to bless you, even in the midst of a, of a pandemic. Reflect. Reflect on everything, all the resources that you have, all the tools that you have. Reflect on how you can move about to make a difference in your community. Reflect and then breathe. Take time for self-care and breathe. You know, I'm going at it constantly with this. When I get to the week, to the weekend, I'm like, I don't want to see any news until I get to Sunday unless something is popping off that's important. And because we have interns all around, interns will be sending me like, hey, have you checked this out? Sometimes I just put the, the my phone on silent because I need to breathe. So y'all, this is a special segment of News in Motion. Um, again, if you're just joining us, hit the replay button. What's important right now, two things, the census, the census. They're going to stop counting at the end of this month, y'all. And there are six categories who have not been counted. The poor, those who are in homeless shelters, minorities, um, uh, marginalized, those who move a lot and hard to find. If they stop counting, understand that it will funding will be slashed and congressional uh, seats will change. The political landscape will change. Poll workers are needed 
in Wisconsin for their upcoming primary on August the 11th. And then I'm sure poll, work, poll workers will be needed all across the U.S. So you can go to EAC.gov and learn how to become a poll worker. All right, y'all. Stay safe. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands and wear your mask. I am Gail Dudley with your News in Motion. This was a special segment. Please hit the replay. Please share. I would greatly appreciate it. And you have a great day. Until tomorrow, right here, 725. I will see you then, God willing. And remember to pause, reflect, then breathe. Peace out.